Hello, 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 everyone. <sighs> Time to get comfortable in my chair. Thank you very much for joining me for this meal plan video. Um, I didn't meal plan last week. I didn't. I didn't post the video last week for this week because hubby's out of town and my daughter went out to the uh, Black Hills or Mount Rushmore area for a couple of days. So it's just me. So when that happens, I usually end up with a sandwich or a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Cause that means I don't have to cook. Not that I don't like cooking, but you know what? It's just some days, some nice to some days to just come home and just literally eat over the kitchen sink. <laughs> just be done with it and then just go and relax. So anyway, so in this video, we are going to meal plan for next week, which will be, I should have had this ready already, but I, I am not. Um, so today is the 16th. So this is going to be the 23rd, 923 to 9 let me take this out so that I can so this is an old happy planner um, cover and ring ring extra rings that I had so for now I'm just taking all of my meal plans and throwing them in here until I can start organizing them a little bit better but for now, at least it keeps it all together. So um, I have some, you know, extra ones here. But every week, as soon as the week is over, I am just going to hole punch it, put it in here, and then someday I'll come up with an idea to, to organize it. I don't know. But it ain't happening anytime soon. So for right now, this is my meal plan planner. Okay. Um, let me get something to lean on because this contact paper is textured and it gets wonky. All right, so like always, I went ahead and put my meals together ahead of time just because it obviously takes a while and I don't wanna bore everybody with, um, with, uh, with me trying to decide what the heck I wanna make for dinner. So anyway, okay, let's start off with Monday. So Monday we're gonna go um, pretty basic. We haven't had chicken fajitas in a while, so let's do that. Some, just some basic. Now, most of the time I usually buy my chicken, cut it up, cook it myself. Sometimes, if I know the week is going to be really busy, I'll buy the, the, the chicken fajita strips pre-made. Um, it just depends. So I'll have to, I'll just have to see what what, as I get farther along into the week, what my week is going to look like. And there's a flyer around here, and he's he's not, he's going to end up, like, smushed on a wall somewhere because he's, like, dive-bombing me. Anyway, okay. Tuesday is going to be pretty simple. Um, I think we're going to do pulled pork. Um, I have homemade pulled pork before, and yeah. We're not doing that now. Um, the the store that I work at um, has a fantastic pulled pork um, that I can literally bring home, heat up in the microwave or in the oven, whichever I I usually like to. Um, are you guys straight? You are not. I'm so sorry. Um, I usually like to kind of spice it up a little bit. Um, add my own barbecue sauce, some other spices and stuff to go with that. But I think we're going to pair that with some waffle fries. That will be delicious and easy to do. So Wednesday, I want to do this French onion. See, there he is. I feel really bad if he lands anywhere because he's not going to... If he would just leave me alone, then things would be wonderful. Um, this French onion chicken was really, really good and so simple to make. It's the, um, like what you would, like the dried French onions, like you put on like a green bean casserole. You just smush them together, um, like in a Ziploc bag, kind of grind them up a little bit. Um, I took mine and I dipped my chicken in egg just to make it um, stick. 
and I gave it a really, really, really nice coating of that French onion dip and um, baked it for like 20 minutes at like 375 and oh my gosh, that was really good. I did not expect it to be that flavorful. Really, really did not, but it was simple um, and it was, it was, it was really good. Even my husband was like, this is pretty good. This is really good. So I think we're just going to pair that with a veggie and a salad. I haven't decided what kind of vegetable yet. Someday I'll get creative in my sides, but not really right now. Okay. So Thursday, since I have off from work, I want to try a new recipe. As you guys know, or if you've watched my meal plans before, I do make a homemade chicken cordon bleu. Um, it's a chicken patty or chicken breast. Um, I usually pound mine out so it's not really, really super thin, but it's kind of thin. Um, and then I um, uh, bread it in breadcrumbs. I add cheese, I add ham, um, Swiss cheese, and um, I like to put a little bit of butter, grass-fed butter in mine. It kind of keeps that moisture and it gives it a little bit more flavor. And then you fold it over, you kind of secure it with toothpicks and you bake it. So I found a recipe for creamy chicken cordon bleu casserole. Sounded really, really good. So, and I like making casseroles because then I can bring it with me the next day for lunch. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna, we're gonna try this. Um, I'll pair it with a salad, maybe a veggie. We'll kind of see how it goes. Maybe just something really light. Um, but this is going to be my, my new recipe that we're going to try for the week. Friday, I think we are going to get back to the basics with a good old fashioned um just how about a good old pot of spaghetti and meatballs i make my own homemade meatballs i cook mine right in my sauce um so and we're going to pair that off with some garlic bread there is nothing just like coming home to a good old pot of just spaghetti and meatballs so Saturday, I think I'd like to do some, because grilling season is going to be over at some particular point here, well, up by us anyway. Um, I think uh, we'll see if hubby can do some gr uh, grilled beer brats. And I'll pair that with like, maybe a coleslaw or a potato salad or I don't know, something like that. Well, I'll decide once I get to the store or I'll talk to the fam and see what they want. And then Sunday, um, I still have a crap ton of pot roast downstairs in the basement in my freezers, uh, and I really need to get um, to get through some of them because I think I think we're gonna do another quarter side of beef in either November or December. So. And I would like to make, and I haven't made them in a really long time, some twice-baked potatoes. And then um, we'll pair that with a salad also. So that is what we are going to be looking like as far as dinners are concerned for next week, which is 9.23 to 9.29. So what I will do is I'll run through real quick. I will make out my shopping list. And um, then um, a couple weeks ago, I had a tater tot taco, say that five times fast, tater tot taco casserole on one of my meal plans. And we made it and my fam fell in love with it. It was so good. We literally in two days ate a nine by 13 pan. I brought it to work for like two days in a row. It was absolutely delish so I think that I think that one needs to go into the cookbook because family really really enjoyed it it was super super easy to make very quick uh, but very very flavorful so um, I think we're gonna we're gonna include that one into the um, uh, into the cookbook today say okay so chicken fajitas let's do chicken and I think I will probably need a couple of them chicken cordon bleu veggie chicken okay so let's do let's do that times two packages I will need peppers 
I will need onions. I will need um, fajita mix. I will need um, tortillas. Yeah, I probably spelled that wrong, but I know what I mean, so. Okay, um, let's see, I need uh, lettuce, sour cream, um, I think that's it, lettuce, sour cream, anything else? Um, no, I think that's it for now. Uh, let's see, we'll do pulled pork. I will need hamburger buns. Um, I th I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on here with a question mark because I'll need to check the fridge. Um, and then waffle fries. I have some, but I know by next week they will be gone. Okay, French onion. I need French onions. Uh, I'll need two of those. Um, veggie, I do will need some frozen vegetables. I'll need a salad times three. Okay, so this creamy chicken cordon bleu um, casserole. Let me get back to, sorry, I had it pulled up, but then I didn't have it pulled up. <laughs> Okay, here it is. So what is my recipe going to call for? It is going to call for chicken, duh, um, egg noodles, um, chicken breast. I need um, ham, but it needs to be cubed so I can get some of that at work. I need Swiss cheese. Um, so I need cream of chicken soup. Cream of chicken soup. Um, milk I have, I need, well I got sour cream so I don't need that. I have butter, I have breadcrumbs, and I have Parmesan cheese. Yes, I just brought a new one, so I think we will be just fine there. Um, hold on one second. This is something, maybe I'm missing something. Cooked ham. Hmm. The... Oh, okay, I see what they said. All right, I understand now. Okay. So spaghetti meatballs, I will need meat sauce. Mm, I think I have spaghetti. I will need some more garlic bread. I do have a thing of spaghetti in there that I will not be using between now and then. Okay, we need beer brats. We need brat buns. And then we'll need um, salad. Pot roast I have, so we will need some russet potatoes, some big ones. And then I'll need to look up my recipe for, um, definitely gonna need shredded cheese. Oh, that's what I was forgetting on my fajitas. Um, shredded cheese. Um, I think on my sour cream, I'm gonna put large. I will need milk. Okay. Um, green onions. I like to put green onions in my twice baked potatoes. Okay. All right. That is my preliminary list. Um, as obviously, as I go through the this week, I'll add to it for my regular household stuff. So, yep, that's what we're having. Okay. So let's get back to um, my tater tot recipe. Maybe not. 
let's pull out man that was so good so easy to make okay let's see what color we're pulling what color did we do last time we did green so let's do let's do this color it's reddish tannish something ish okay so what I usually end up doing now so I'll put this to the side so what I will end up doing now is let me write this in Tater Tot Taco Casserole It's so funny around here Um, when people need to just go down the street and they don't want to get in their car, they'll just take their lawnmower. Like their ride on lawnmower. Everybody just rides around town in their ride on, ride on lawnmower. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. Okay. Cast. Oh, that's an R. That's an R. Okay. Okay. So what I will end up and I found my other book. I found my other food sticker book. So we can decorate with this one. Um I will write the ingredients out and then I will fast forward through the directions cuz the directions are pretty simple so it really should not take me um that long. Um but I'll go ahead and write out the ingredients and then um yeah okay so i need um one pound of ground beef i need um 16 ounces it says frozen whole kernel corn with red and green bell peppers. I did them separately. So, so 16 ounces of corn and bell peppers. What, now I did mine fresh, I didn't do mine frozen. Well, my corn was frozen, but I chopped up my own bell peppers. So, but it all totaled, it was 16 ounces. Um, 12 ounces. Um, black beans, of course, rinsed and drained. So, rinse and drain. Okay. Um, small diced onion. One clove garlic minced. Um, one packet taco seasoning. Twelve ounces shredded cheese, whatever you want. I just, I think I used the Fiesta cheese or something like that at, at Walmart. Um, let's see, I need 16 ounces of tater tots, although I just poured mine in. <laughs> I'm not one to follow directions. Uh, most of the time I'm winging it. <laughs> it 
and then 10 ounces of enchilada sauce. I, I am not one to measure. If it looks good to me, then <laughs> it just looks good to me. So, I mean, some things I do. I mean, I get, I mean, I get it. But like the tater tots, I just poured it in till when I mixed it all together, I just poured it in till I thought it was enough. But other people like liver die by a recipe as far as measuring. I, I can't, I don't have the patience for that. So anyway, okay. So we are going to bake at 375. Um, for 40 minutes. Okay, and this gives us eight servings. Cook time, cook and prep time is about, all right, so prep time is 15 minutes. Um, cook time is 40 minutes. Okay, so that was pretty good, kids. All right, let's throw some cute little stickers down on this. Let's see if there's, I couldn't find this one for the longest time. All right, corn, corn. Looks like I pulled that one up before. Okay, let's put some corn up here. Ooh, well, here's some bell peppers. Let's see what else we got. It's corn, broccoli, I don't know if I'll have. Um, um, that's ice cream, that's all baking. I may have to pull out my other ones. Let's see what's in here. We'll put a little one over here that says dinner. It is, I don't really think it's healthy, so I don't think we really want to put that sticker on there. Corn dog, hamburger, Spaghetti and meatballs and salad and Taco Tuesday. S'mores, cheese, sushi. All right, let me see what else I can find. Let me find my other, let's see if there's any other little icons in here I can use. Here, I like these little meal prep stickers. So I put meal prep right there. I usually like to try to pull icons that are in here, but sometimes that does not always work in my favor. We can do a spoon. Do a spoon. Mm, yeah, don't need coffee. I have a bell pepper. Um, let's put favorite recipe because it is absolutely turned into a favorite recipe. And let's see what this little, let's see what this little, this little guy's got for us. Ooh, an onion. That's a big onion. Um, let's take the spoon away. And we'll put my Jumanga of an onion in there, and we can put, we'll put the spoon over there. Keep calm and curry on. Yeah, I am not a, a curry person. Let's see what else we have here. We got a little oven mitt. That's cute. Mm. 
Let's do a couple of sayings and then we will call this baby good. Oh, here we go. This is family favorite. There we go. Okay, we are good there. So I will write out the directions. Should not take me very long at all. We will fast forward through this. We'll give you guys some nice relaxing music. <laughs> for your listening pleasure. <laughs> and that will be it for this meal plan. So hold tight guys, and I will be right back with you. I'm back. Um, I kind of wrote out all the recipes um, and um, put a little memory from mom at the bottom and it says quick and easy when your butt is too tired to cook. I always make sure I put something at the bottom to make them giggle. <laughs> so anyway, this will go into my cookbook that maybe someday my kids will look at. I don't really know. Maybe they'll just toss it in the trash. But you know what? Maybe you guys like it. I don't know. I will always, um, in the description box below, will I'll be all of these recipes, um, the ones that I can find and share a link with. Um, obviously, my family traditional recipes, I will not be able to do that. So, um, But the ones that I pull off of, all recipes I will link below and I'm just going to keep like a just adding to it um, as uh, the time goes on and I add more and more recipes so anyway guys that is my meal plan for 923 to 929 I hope I have now made you nice and hungry and uh, thank you again for watching for subscribing for comments for um, for liking I appreciate all of your um, your watch hours and um, your comments and uh, and we'll kind of we'll, well we'll see you guys in another video okay bye